Hello friends, welcome to A to Z industry. This video covers important MCQs related to rubber dam. Best method of tube isolation. Cotton rolls, saliva ejector, rubber dam, high volume evacuator. Rubber dam. It is one of the best method for tooth isolation. Rubber dam was introduced by G. V. Black, Barnum, Barthal, Simon. Barnum. Dr. S. C. Barnum introduced rubber dam in 1864. Which of the following statement is not true about rubber dam? Distance between two poles in rubber dam is 6.3 mm. Rubber dam clamp have four prongs and two jaws. Wing the clamp interfere with placement of metal band. None of the above. None of the above. All these statements are true about rubber dam. Distance between Two holes in a rubber dam is 6.3 mm and the rubber dam clamp have four prongs and two jaws connected by a bow. Then wing the clamp interfere with the placement of metal span or retainer extra. Medium thickness rubber dam is 0 0.006 inch, 0 0.008 inch, 0 0.010 inch, 0, 1 to each. Point zero zero eight inch. Size of rubber dam sheet used in children's. 4 into 4 square inches, 5 into 5 square inches, 6 into 6 square inches, 7 into 7 square inches. 5 into 5 square inches rubber dam sheet used in children's, 6 into 6 square inches rubber dam sheet used in adult. Thickness of special heavy type of rubber dam 0 0.006 inch, 0 0.008 inch, 0 0.012 inch, 0 0.014 inch. 0 0.014 inch. Table shows different grades of rubber dam sheet and their thickness. Thickness of thin rubber dam sheet is 0 0.006 inch. Medium 0 0.008 inch. Heavy 0 0.010 inch. Extra heavy 0 0.012 inch. Then special heavy 0 0.014 inch. Retainer appropriate for most premolar anchor teeth W7, W4, W27, W56. W4. W4 retainers used in most of the premolars. Then W2 retainer used for small premolars. Retainer used for Terminal molar anchor teeth W56, W27, W7, W8. W27. Retainers used for terminal mandibular molar is W27. Most molars W56 retainers used. Mandibular molar W7 retainer and in maxillary molars W retainers are used. It's all about the topic rubber dam. Thank you.